All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem here to give you another scout report on a player headed towards the 2017 NFL Draft. For today's last ball, I'm gonna finish off with my run, my uh, one of my top running backs, Jeremy McNichols, coming out of Boise State. And this kid's been flying off of a couple of people's radar. People have actually kind of slept on him and forgot about him, but he's actually one of the top running backs entering this year's draft. He actually accumulated just over 2,000 yards um, actually per season for the last two years and 53 touchdowns. This kid is a good player for everybody to look at. Reminds me of fellow uh, Boise State running back um, Doug Martin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And let's talk about him hailing from Long Beach, California. I do like this kid a lot. He was actually one of the top producing running backs over the course of the last two seasons in his uh, career in college football. He actually showed a flash of versatility as a true freshman, but then finally emerged in 2015, where he had actually just under 2,000 yards, but then over 2,100 yards in this past season. I think this kid is a great back to look at. Now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, just like Doug Martin he's short but he possesses a powerful compact frame and he has well built thick lower um, half of his body it helps testify his work in, in the weight room definitely has good uh, work ethic as far as weightlifting ability he actually shows good initial quickness and, um, to press the line of scrimmage and dart through openings where there are openings this is a good black who has great vision he actually had a good game um, um, not this past year but last season's um, bowl matchup definitely is a great back to everybody that people should definitely and look at in the earlier rounds of this year's draft. He anchors a well of uh anchors well to absorb um contact and shows good quickness and accuracy to strike um defenders in his cut and his cut blocks as well as um, um his cutback ability as far as running the football and he definitely displayed his ability to be a receiver um coming out of the backfield over the course of the last two seasons he combined over 900 yards receiving this kid is very great and he has a nose for the end zone 53 touchdowns these last two seasons, over uh, averaging of just over 26 uh, per season. Definitely has a nose to get to reach the end zone. So particularly in goal line situations and in short situations, you can depend on this guy. Despite the fact he is, he did play in a little bit of a weaker conference of the Mountain West, but this kid is still a Division One running back, a great running back at that. Now it's time for me to talk about his weaknesses, though. Now he does um. Lack like the breakaway speed that the uh, that scouts are looking for, but that's okay. I don't really think that's much of a huge big deal. He does have show initial quickness, and he does um uh, and he does um does a pretty good well with his uh, cutback ability and as an um um as an interior runner. Some people are concerned that he could be a little bit impatient as an interior runner, but I think it would just a little bit more time to develop and reading his blocks and understanding to follow more of his blockers. I think he could become a dynamic back at the next level. Doug Martin had a couple of great seasons his rookie year, and not this past season, but the previous year before his contract, he had actually over 1,700 yards um, of total offense, of yards from scrimmage. So this is definitely a good uh, resume for uh, Big Nichols for for scouts to look at for McNichols because of the development of Doug Martin, who is a pretty good running back. Now, I actually think he could be a good, um, at least a good third round pick for this year's draft at worst. I think a team could probably try to sneak his way and try to sleep and just kind of shock everybody as him as a second round pick. He definitely has fell off a lot of people's radar, but I still think he's a great running back. I see at worst a third round pick for this year's draft. There's actually some good running backs entered this year's draft in my opinion. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be hopefully during this week. I'm going to actually stop with the running back on videos. If you have any suggestions for players you want me to do videos on, please let me know and I leave a comment and I will respond with a video of the particular player that you're looking for. But I'm going to move on to the wide receivers for this week. Now, like I said, I'm going to catch you guys a little bit later. I'm going to try to aim for Thursday, if not definitely this weekend. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm Manikeem McCall. Be easy.